How Chris Gale made me lose focus and nearly cost my team the game one evening? That's what I'm discussing on Hogs Vlog. Two thousand and fifteen, December thirty. It's Perth Scorchers versus the Melbourne Renegades. The game is out Docklands in Melbourne, the stadium with the roof on it. Gale is playing for the Renegades. Hogg is playing for the Scorchers. Before the game, I was hoping that our opening bowlers would make a breakthrough and not allow me to expose to Chris Gale in the seventh over. The reason being, the conditions out Docklands weren't conducive to my bowling. The pitch stays low. I like a pitch with extra bounce because of my top spin where I hit the bat high up on the splice. So Chris Gale already had one up on me before we started the game. So the game starts, we're bowling first, he gets through the first six overs. I come on, I've got two plans to Chris Gale. The first one was to keep him off strike, Aaron Finch was batting, the first ball I had Finch on strike and uh, Finch turned over the strike straight away, so I had the next five balls against Chris Gale. Now bowling to Chris Gale, I wanted to bowl quick into the pitch, just short of a length. But I didn't want to be too short because he'd be able to pull me. I didn't want to be just over, uh, slightly over pitched where he could power me down the ground. So as I've come on to bowl, I was already in those negative thoughts and I gave away a four and a six in the next three balls. It was the fifth ball where I thought I better slow it up rather than bowl quicker just to see if I can uh, just bamboozle him and make him swing a little bit earlier than he wants to. Slowed it up, he's missed it. LBW right in front, it's hitting middle stump. The umpire's given it not out. Now this umpire has never ump umpired me before. I've gone, why haven't you given that out, mate? Why haven't you given that out? He said it was missing leg. I said, you've got to be kidding me. What do you mean it's missing leg? It was turning back, hitting middle. He said, it was your wrong and going down leg. I went off my tree. I said, mate, you haven't seen one ball that I've bowled live and you're telling me that's a wrong one when I've actually bowled a leggy? Come on, if this costs us the game tonight, it's on your head. The next ball, dot, but the next over, I went for 13. The reason why I went for 13 is because I was fielding out square leg while Andrew Ty bowled the over in the middle of the two overs that I was bowling in this spell, and I was still abusing the umpire. I didn't focus on the job at hand. I went for 44 that night, that evening, and Chris Gale annihilated me. He made me look like a second grade bowler. But it's just simple. Anything you do in life, if you've got the wrong attitude, you've got the wrong mindset, things fall apart. And they did that night. I lost focus, I got angry, and I didn't control the controllables. And that was what, what that I had to do the very next ball to stay in the contest. So when you're out in the middle, just make sure you control those emotions. Don't get upset over a bad ball. Don't get over, upset over a, a bad decision because you can make it up the very next ball if you've got that positive mindset. And that was the difference between Shane Warne playing test cricket uh, over myself. He had a better mindset uh, in the game of cricket. He was so good at not letting things get to him. So that's the secret of success if you want to be a top leg spinner. Hope you enjoy what I'm doing on the Hogs Vlog. You know what to do. I'll see you next Wednesday for another Hogs Vlog. Stay safe.